Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to study addition where the answer goes over to the next 10. But first, we need to review something a little bit. And that is, these kind of additions, how do we do this? 10 plus 3? You see, when you have 1, 10 and 3, your answer would be 1, 10 and 3, right? But we say it as 13. It's one of the teen numbers. Or over here, 10 and 5 is of course written as 1, 10 and 5, but we say it as 15. It's one of the teen numbers. And here, 10 and 8 makes 18. And the same with 10 and 9, 19. And we will need this when we do these two problems. 8 plus 7. What we're going to do is we're going to make 10 using these 8 dots here. And what's that, Matthew? Ah, oh, they are not dots. What are they? Hmm? Yeah, blueberries and raspberries, right. These eight raspberries and seven blueberries, okay. We're going to make ten, a bundle of ten like this. All eight of these plus two from here. That makes ten. And that makes it easy to add now. Ten, and here are five that didn't get into the bundle. Ten and five makes fifteen, one of the teen numbers. Let me show you how to do it here. Nine raspberries and four blueberries. So I'll make a bundle or bag ten berries into a bag like this. And so I have three that didn't get into the bag. So I add ten plus three, right? And that's one of, one of the teen numbers, thirteen. This is where the answer goes over ten. It is more than ten, right? These numbers are not more than ten, but the answer is. And the same happens here. We have 26 plus 7, and now we can make a new 10 from these little dots. Here's 6 and 7. So what I will do is I will take all 6 from here and 4 from here. So I get a new 10, and so now I have 10 and 10 and 10. Three tens, right? And three. Three tens and three, 33. So the answer went over to the next 10, 30-something. Over here, 57 plus 5. This box with T is a 10, as you remember. So I take all these seven dots and some from here, right? Three from here to make a new 10. And so now I have those five tens and a sixth 10. Six tens and two. 62. Two more problems like this. Now I have two two-digit numbers and I can use the same idea of making a new 10 using these little dots here. 25 plus 26. 5 and 6. Yeah, that's enough to make a new 10. I'll take 5 and 5. So I get 4 tens and a fifth 10 and 1. 5 tens and 1. 51. One more. Can you solve this on your own? Pause the video and try. Okay, here I have nine and six little dots. So maybe I'll take all nine of these and one from here and make my ten bag or ten bundle. And now you can see the answer, right? Three tens, four tens, and a ten. Eight tens and five, eighty-five. Here, 39 plus 5, I'm thinking of these little dots, these ones. 9 and 5 are my ones, or those little dots. And I want to first make a new 10. I want to complete the 10 when I have 9 here. And then how many more will I need to make 10? I will need one more, right? So I would have 39, and then one more. That would make 40, would complete the next 10. And so this 1, of course, comes from the 5. And what is left over will be 4. So now, this here makes the 40. And then there's 4. So the answer is 44. You'll study this more in second grade, so don't worry if it looks a little difficult. 88 plus 8, let's do this one too. This is how I think. 88 plus how many more makes the next 10? Two more, right? And this two comes 
from the eight. And what, how much is left over will be six. And now these two made the 90, and then I have the six, 96. There were 12 children on the playground. They wanted to play a game where they needed 20 players. Some kind of maybe a ball game where there's two teams or something. And then five more children came. As you notice, the question is lacking. We don't have the question. What could we ask? Now you get to be the math bookmaker or the math word problem maker. What would you ask? Okay, one thing we could ask is how many children are there now? Because there were 12 and then five more came. Matthew? Ah, yeah, we could ask what game they're gonna play. <laughs> but that's not the math word problem. Oh, what game are they gonna play? I don't know. Mm, softball? Just whatever, where you have 10 and 10 in each team. One more you could ask is, how many more children do they still need to have the 20 players, right? How many more children do they still need? For that, I want to first solve how many they already have, because there were 12 and 5 more came. That means I would add 12 and 5. And for that, you remember the little trick. I add those little dots, 2 and 5. That makes 7. That means this does not change, it's just 110. So they have 17 players right now. And then we write uh, how many more addition. 17 now. And how many more so that they would have 20. 20 is 210, so we are completing the 10. 7 here and 3 would complete the next 10. The answer is we would need, they would need three more players. Matthew bought scissors for $4, glue for $2, colored pencils for $5, and a puzzle book for $12. Find his total bill. Now this is a little challenging problem if you are in first grade. Again, don't worry. We're gonna use some dots to solve it, okay? And that'll make it easy, right? I think Matthew is planning to do some coloring and cutting in his puzzle book. We have all these numbers, and what do we need to do? We need to add those numbers because it says total bill. How much do these things cost in total? So we need to add. I'll write these, all these numbers we need to add, okay? There's four and two and five and 12. Now I'm gonna use this kind of a visual model where I make just dots, okay? for these numbers, and 1, 10, 2 would be 2 and then a 10, like that. And now I will check if I can make a new 10 with all those dots, right? It's 4 and 2, that would be 6, aha, uh -huh, 6 and 4 more, right, 6 and then 4 more, that would make a 10, yes, that'll work. Can you now see the answer? 10 and 10, and then 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 23, 2 tens and 3. That's dollars, so I'll put the dollar symbol here now. That's his total bill, $23. Well, Matthew, have fun cutting and gluing and doing your puzzles. We're all done with this lesson.